sure. Quite a risky pass from Hulkett into uh, Limbeti there. Limbeti did really well to get it out of the press. And then forward from Jeanneste to Clément. Clément turns his man and scores! There's the opening goal for France. And it all came from that uh, poor pass. Yeah, it started with the real, uh, a real speculator from uh, Hulkett into Limberti. They did well to get out of the first phase of the press, but uh, Clement just went past Eustace a little bit too easily there. And from being super critical, Peters also went down far too early. He needed to stay with the injection here. Austin Smith with the dummy, and the goal is scored by Julian Hikes. Yeah, and you can see Austin Smith it was, they ran hard at him because they thought he was going to be the guy to flick it. And uh, I'd seen Hikes practicing the slip flick in the warm-up. You can see the player runs hard at Smith, can't change direction in time. And uh, Hikes sends it crashing into the boards. Good height and well executed. Across the D, Hulkett it was. Charlet with the drag and the goal! That's the equaliser for France. And uh, that's what he's really good at, Victor Charlet. He, uh, you know, when you've got a guy this tall, and that's what drag flicking's all about, Andy, it's having these long levers, as you can see here. And he's got a lot of uh, whip on that, and great deception. He just changes his hands at the last minute, puts it down to Peterson's low right, and you can see... The 68th Test match in confident side and as I say that Dan Kasim has managed to work a three on two situation here Julian Hikes with the tomahawk great save and put away by Dan Kasim that's the equaliser and that's what Dan Kasim is in the team for he's really good at stealing balls in the midfield keeping the defenders eyes down and uh, did really well made the steal rolled it to Julian Hikes and uh, yeah, you can see in tandem there with Tain Payton, Kasim it was, he laid it off to Hikes, he carried on running, Hikes it was who had the tomahawk shot, they've just put the keeper back on, he didn't deal with it effectively enough, and Kasim it was who stuck it away, South Africa make the two all. Ah, oh, Dan Kasim, he's a bishop's boy, just 19 years old. Oh, that's a poor pass from Tommy Hammond and now there's a two on two for France here's an opportunity the shot and the goal that is 2-0 Maximilian Branicki with the tomahawk well I was saying it in jest Andy but it actually worked for France uh, Genestay hit it over the end of the pitch they pressed South Africa they won the ball back and uh, tomahawk hitting the side netting not much that Peterson could have done with that one Going. Charles scores another one. He's gone the other way this time, and Garen Jones was nowhere. And the man on the on the post, Rhett Holkett, also I don't think he even saw it. And uh, again, Charles generating a lot of pace with those long levers. Uh, plays his hockey in Hamburg. And turnover ball. Picked up by Nick Spooner. Great ball from Spooner. The reverse shot and the goal. Julian Hikes takes the lead for South Africa. Yeah, and that's what Julian Hikes can do for South Africa. We uh, saw the graphics at the quarter break there. South Africa hadn't had many circle penetrations. Don't think they'd even had a shot at goal in that first uh, first quarter. And really good uh, backhand pass from uh, Red Hulkett it was was uh, half picked up in midfield by France but Spooner it was who picked it up guys drove the ball in at the D the and you can see Julian Hikes really happy with that see Spooner picks it up great pace here to get away from Tom Genestay pulls it into Hikes who puts it to the back space and he's really good here's the drag flick exponent and scores it's his second score from a drag flick in this series so here we see and uh, Cholet steps up and uh, great early ball forward Geneste takes it inside and scores 2-1 to France and a great strike from Tom Geneste in the second minute of the final quarter and a really bad defensive error there from Arnon Vimby went completely to sleep allowed Geneste to sneak in behind him and uh, there he is Arnon Vimby realizing Geneste snuck in, snuck in behind him 
powerful slap shot there from uh, Tom Genesta, as you can see. And uh, in those situations, the goalkeeper really is thinking, he's obviously got to think about the straight shot, but he's thinking of the ball driven across hard on the ground for the deflections. And you can see... Wow, it comes...